Welcome back, and I should probably use the word y'all, as I keep ending up on the Confederate side in War of Rights that I just picked up in the Steam Summer Sale. And because I'm in such a good mood, I'm only going to make you sit through the reloading and fitting of the bayonet process just once, as it takes a realistic length of time to do. Nearly there, only a couple more things to do before I can finally get to the front. Ah, and there's the army milling around on top of this hill without a care in the world. Oh, it's gonna be one of them games, is it? This guy's allegedly got a brilliant plan. That sounds like a terrible plan. Instead, I'm going to follow the rest of the regiment through this open field towards a very angry and well-entrenched enemy. Unbelievably, we made it! I think I'm going to move from this tree though and find myself a nice rock for cover. It looks pretty safe over there. Oh! Oh, back away. Back away slowly. Instead of sitting in this tree line being slowly picked off, our officers have come up with a brilliant plan, which is to charge across a hundred yards of open field. I can foresee no problem with this plan and cannot wait to follow it. Phew! Admittedly a little late on the volley there, but no matter, charge! So far, so good! I've actually made it to the fence line, this is unbelievable. As I don't have a spare hour and a half to reload my musket, it's melee all the way. Yeah, get some. Yeah, and you. Oh, not you, sorry. After that disaster, we're back in our tree line waiting for the next brilliant plan to formulate. Slowly being picked off. Luckily, I'm safely behind a gigantic tree. Oh no, we've been ordered to fix bayonets. This can mean only one thing. We're going for it again. I thought we had more men in the charge. Turns out it's a huge pile of corpses. I'm not going to be as eager this time. It's not cowardice, it's just good sense. Oh, that is a lot of incoming fire. And it looks like they've managed to reinforce exactly where we're charging. Well, there's only one thing for it. Run away! Don't worry, a combination of this bush and that flag will protect me. Oh. I probably got him. It's the final push. It's all or nothing. Straight down the middle. What's that in the distance? It appears that the Union are countercharging, and I appear to be very close to the front of this charge. I think I'll just do a little bit of weaving to get myself more towards the middle of the charge. This is going to be epic. Well, it would have been if I wasn't killed immediately. The start of a new match, and I'm on the Union side for a change. The commanders have decided to have a meeting in the middle of this road right near the spawn. Seems perfectly safe to me. That was an enemy volley from nearly max range, but don't worry, we're going to give them one of our own. It looks magnificent, but it's completely unknown if we hit anything. It's our duty as the Massachusetts Regiment to take the left flank, 
What we don't realise is there is a full regiment waiting at the top for us. To make matters worse, there's limited cover, and I've completely forgotten to load my weapon. But don't worry, I won't make you sit through the whole thing. While we've been successfully cut to ribbons, our commander needs to decide on whether we have enough men left to make the charge. Iron men, do we have enough men to charge? Hell, how do you charge? Yeah, no. Uh, press B. I'm going to say probably not. Put on your press B. Press B. Definitely not. Only one thing for it. Time to run away! Despite our best attempts to come up with a better plan, a good soldier always follows orders, and we are charging this position again. Watch the poor guy in front of me. I think he got shot in the face twice. That'll teach you. We've swapped flanks and managed to get right near to the house. This rebel has picked a terrible time to reload. Absolutely no mercy. I'm back on the confederate side and luckily we've been gifted with a tactical genius. We're going to run to the top of this hill, peek at the enemy, shoot, run away, reload and repeat. Seems like a solid plan to me. Upon reaching the top of the hill, we've been met with an enemy volley which has completely missed everyone. The odds are staggering. This plan was so successful, we're going to do it another 15 times. The Union, however, have finally caught on to our brilliant plan and have decided to wait for us to cut us to pieces, including our beloved officer. In an attempt to boost morale, the leadership have decided to deliver a rousing speech. I'm going to want to be front and centre for this one. Oh god, I think he's going to shoot me. Oh no, it's much worse than that. He wants us to do it again. After somehow surviving yet another suicidal charge, I'm taking some much needed respite to reload. However, is that the Union I can see approaching our position? Oh, this is going to get messy. Pew! Pretty sure I got him. Time for stabbing. It's shank or be shanked. I choose shank. In the confusion, I was stabbed by my own team. Despite our superior battlefield tactics, we're down to the last stand. Well, it's time to get stuck in. Looks like we caught these northerners with their pants down. Stab away. Oh, that guy got clubbed. Unbelievably, turns out I'm loaded. Pew! Got him. Worth it. In case you were wondering how this battle concluded, I'll leave you with my death cam and the final minute of action. It gets pretty intense. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more War of Rights.
Pew, 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 pew.